Do you guys remember last week when we were talking about the possibility of Black Ops 2 becoming backwards compatible? Little hints were popping up here and there, and then all of a sudden the cover art showed up in an official Xbox trailer. Well, unfortunately, it looks like it's not going to happen, at least not yet. And I wanted to update you guys on this because I know a lot of people were very, very excited, including myself. So uh, not too long ago, Larry Erb, who's kind of like the, the Xbox guy, Major Nelson, some of you guys might know him as, had an exchange on Twitter. So James Delano tweeted to him, Black Ops 2 confirmed, and it was a screenshot of an Xbox One menu where somebody shared some sort of activity or video capture or something like that on Black Ops 2. And uh, Larry Herb replied, wrong, nothing is confirmed until I tweet about it, no ETA. And James Delano says, is that a hint? And he says, not at all, there is no ETA on it, none, zero, stop asking when it's out. I'll let you know. So, uh, I don't know, I sense a little bit of salt there. Like, it, it sounds like he was a little bit frustrated, and I could imagine, because I'm sure he gets hundreds upon hundreds of tweets every single day asking about this same exact thing. I mean, Black Ops 2 is by far the number one voted game to be the next to be backwards compatible, and uh, I'm sure he's sick of seeing it. But, uh, yeah, so there you guys have it. That is a solid answer from the Xbox guy himself. There is no ETA on when Black Ops 2 is going to become backwards compatible. Now, does that mean it's not going to happen? No chance. I definitely think it's gonna happen at some point, but uh, we're just not sure when and that's kind of weird to me because like I said when they have those voting polls to see which game should become backwards compatible Black Ops 2 I think it has like 200,000 votes or something like that like it's by far head and shoulders above everything else so the fact that it's not backwards compatible yet is, um, I don't know, it's just, it's a little bit confusing because all the Call of Duty's that have become backwards compatible, like, you know, Call of Duty 2 and, you know, Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1 when it came out, people freaked out. Everybody loved it. Like, these have been so, so, so successful. So I'm wondering why they haven't released it yet. It seems like, you know, I mean, from a business standpoint, it seems like a really easy way for them to earn a lot of money if people wanting to pay to download it. And uh, I don't know, it's just like, it seems like an all around win-win for everybody. I'm not sure why they're doing it. So we're gonna have to put on our tinfoil hats and uh, Illuminati conspiracies and try to figure out what's going on. So uh, it looks like, at least for now, it's not gonna be coming out yet, which yes, it is a bummer. I'm a little bit disappointed, but um, it's not the end of the world. I mean, it's just backwards compatibility. You can get the same experience by going back and turning on your Xbox 360, your PlayStation 3, and you can play it anyway. What I really wanna see is to have it remastered. I would love to see Black Ops 2 remastered, and I wonder if that's something to do with why they aren't making it backwards compatible. Maybe they're holding out on the backwards compatibility because they're gonna be bringing it to us remastered. That could kinda of make sense, but you know, Black Ops 2 is a fairly recent COD, so would they remaster it already? I don't know, it's just, it's really, really confusing. I'm not sure what's going on behind those closed doors over there at Xbox, but I just wanted to let you guys know and follow up on it, even if it's bad news. So, there you guys have it. Let me know what you guys think could be the reason for this down in the comments, and uh, I'm gonna catch you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Peace out. Yeah, dude, T. Martin, bro, you got a headset?